Today's term from psychology is schadenfreude, or epicaricacy. Schadenfreude is the German word for that feeling of joy, or self-satisfaction, that you get from someone else's troubles or failures. There's also an English word for this, epicaricacy, that almost no one outside of the uh, psychology department of the local university, or perhaps the church, uses anymore. You see, during the Middle Ages, the church considered epicaricacy to be a sin, feeling good because of someone else's misfortune, even if that misfortune was earned, was something that could get you sent right to hell. Thus, even though the church has lost much of its power, after centuries of clergy preaching that it was a sin, most people still think of it as a bit of a guilty pleasure. Schadenfreude, or epicaricacy, comes in two distinct forms. General schadenfreude happens when your friend trips and spills coffee on his shirt, and you chuckle and call him a klutz. If your boss is the one spilling the coffee, you might not chuckle out loud, but you still think to yourself that it was funny, and he's a klutz. The second form may be described as karmic schadenfreude. An example of this is when someone who bullied you is himself bullied. We may not like bullying in general, but there's a certain sense of moral satisfaction seeing someone getting their just desserts. But why does everyone, everywhere, get that feeling of pleasure? Well, it seems that there's a part of our brain that really does get turned on and rewards us with a shot of dopamine that floods the emotional rewards portion of our brain, giving a very real sensation of physical pleasure. So when people say that schadenfreude gives us pleasure, they mean it in a literal sense. And this is a psychological reason so many people like slapstick comedy. So remember the next time you see someone trip over something and fall on their ass, it's completely natural to laugh.